This short video is a quick start guide to attending BIM Online from the start of term next week, Monday the 6th of April. We'll cover the following topics, how to find out when your online lessons are scheduled and how you'll attend online lessons and what you can expect, how to access your lesson resources and other learning materials the lecturers have prepared, how to contact your lecturers and fellow classmates, how to keep up to date with important college news and extracurricular events, and where to direct questions you may have and how to book online tutorials. Now before we get started, you need to make sure you have downloaded the Microsoft Teams app on your computer. You can do this by going directly to the Microsoft Teams download site, or by going to bimstudents.com and clicking on the Microsoft Teams tile there. And once downloaded, you just log in with your normal BIM credentials and then you are set up and ready to go. So let's start with number one. How do you find out when your lessons are scheduled? Well, most of you won't see any change in your timetable, so you'll have your virtual lessons at the same time you had your sessions in the college. In Microsoft Teams, you can remind yourself of your schedule by checking your calendar. So let's open up the app and have a look. So here we are in Teams. We want to go to our calendar on the left here. So I'm going to skip to next week, the start of term, where I've added myself temporarily to some BA1 Music Business modules so I can show you this feature. You have to ignore my other diary commitments there. But here you can see that the first lesson of the week is Tuesday at 10.30, Concept of Information and Tour Management. So now I know I need to make sure that I attend John's class at 10.30 on Tuesday. So what does attending actually mean then? Well, I'll take you through the steps of attending online. First up, you need to log into Microsoft Teams. So let's go to our Teams page. And we recommend that just as you would arrive at class five to 10 minutes early, that you do the same online. And this will really help your lecturer to kick off the class in a timely manner. So you need to click on the team connected to that class. Here we go. And go straight to the Moodle tab in the general channel. So here's the general channel, Moodle module page. There we go. Um, don't worry about the chat for now, we'll come back to that later. So when you log on this for the first time, you'll be prompted to log into Moodle, but once you've done it, um, it should keep you logged in and it will take you directly to the relevant Moodle module page. So now you scroll down to the relevant week, so you need to keep scrolling down to week 21, here we go, and have a look for the Zoom link there, so here we are. If your module's got several instances of classes each week, or maybe different lecturers teaching different classes, you might have a few session links there, so just make sure that you click the right one. It will be clearly labelled for you. If you've got any problems at all, you can always pop a message in here. You can tag your lecturer, so John, uh, and then just ask him um, where the relevant link is. So let's go back to the link there. Click on it and you'll be taken to the online class. Okay. If your lecture hasn't started yet, you'll need to wait for them to arrive. Now you don't need a Zoom account to actually access this, just click allow and it will launch. If your lecturer is running a workshop or seminar, they will probably have selected the meeting settings and this means you've got an option to turn your camera on so that your lecturer and classmates can see you. So even though you don't have a daily commute in the morning, you will still need to get out of bed. But in all seriousness, it's really important to have a comfortable setup for study and your lecturer may ask students to leave the class if they feel they are in breach of online learning expectations guidance, which you'll be able to find on Moodle. So the lecturer will set up the meeting so that when you join, your camera is not visible and it'll be your choice to turn it on if you wish. If the lecturer has selected a webinar setting, you'll be able to use the text chat function to participate in the session, but your camera won't be visible. It's unlikely that the Zoom session will last the full duration of your lesson, although this will vary, and in many instances, your lecturer will talk you through the learning resources, ask you to go away and do some related activities, and perhaps regroup at the end, and they'll guide you through this. You'll find all lesson materials on your module Moodle pages, just as you normally would. Some live lectures may also be posted online for you to view afterwards, alongside various materials your lecturers are developing to support you online. Within each module team, you'll see a general channel. This is essentially your online chat area, a bit like a Facebook group where you can communicate with your lecturers and classmates. You can even tag members by using the at symbol to mention them. Remember that many of your lecturers do not work full time, so you cannot expect an instant response, but they will monitor the chat and respond in good time. The lecture announcements channel is a place for your lecturers to post important information, so do keep an eye on this one, as we'll only try to use your email for very important official communications, so you're not overwhelmed by lots of incoming information. There is also a chat function over here on Microsoft Teams, where you can reach out to individuals for a private conversation, but again remember that this is a professional space, and you still need to apply the same professional boundaries with this form of communication. It's best to post queries in the open general channel, unless it's something you really don't want your peers to be able to see. How to keep up to date with important college news and events. So as I mentioned, we're conscious of information overload through your email. We can also no longer rely on communicating through notices and posters around buildings. 
so we've thought carefully about how we can keep you informed without being overwhelmed. It's a great idea to virtually drop by the college news and chat site at least once a day to see what's happening in there. You can see what the student association is up to, useful tips and resources from the student support team, info on BIM extra classes and all of the exciting online careers and industry events happening across the term. All laid out in these defined channels. Very important updates will be communicated to you via email and also through the College Principal Important Updates channel. You can also drop by the Common Room or other community channels to see what students are up to. And finally, where do you direct questions and how do you book tutorials? It depends on your question, but if you've got any doubts, swing by the virtual reception desk in the college chat and post there. This is moderated during working hours by the reception team who can forward your query if they can't answer themselves. And if you've got a private query, you can always email them at the usual reception email address or give them a call. You can also book your tutorials here. The Moodle tutorials page is linked and you just book them in the normal way. If you've got any questions about the process, you can always post it in that channel. If you have any questions about your course, head to your course year team and post a question for your course leader in there. Uh, there is a general channel where you can do that or contact them directly via email. So that's it. Please do get in touch with your course leader or your student representatives to let us know how it goes. Your feedback is really important to us and we want to make sure that we're doing all we can to make your experience a positive one. Thanks for watching and have a great first week back.